Alright, I think it's been long enough. Let's get started. Um, so, I was thinking about the stream yesterday after it was over. And, um, I think it was just like, first stream jitters or something. I was making a lot of dumb moves. A lot of dumb moves. I'm gonna play a little bit smarter this time, take my time. I'm just not used to the whole Twitch etiquette thing where it's okay to, like, pause and wait. I was talking to some friends about it and they are like, just, just chill. <laughs> no need to rush. So yeah, let's uh, continue on where we left off. Hey, Wallflowers. Sammy! What? You want to help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help with that? Already <laughs> are! Still a charmer. Even though I know he's crazy. Come on. Alright, Josh. Let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. You know something I find really interesting about this game? Well, obviously the characters. The characters are the most interesting part of this game, but the variance between these characters are what's pretty fascinating. Like me, I personally really like Sam, and I think I understand why. It's because she's pretty chill, really easygoing, and there's not enough interactions with her to make me annoyed, you know? I mean, all we do with her is uh, explore the basement a little bit, uh, run away from a psycho, and then uh, become a hero. That's it. There's not really much to be annoyed about. But on the other side of the spectrum, she is kind of a bland character. Wallflowers, are you going to try to escape the psycho when he's chasing Sam? Yeah, I was thinking maybe we could run towards the generator where Josh's bat is, but I think that probably would be a, a bad idea because it puts us in a corner and I cannot rely on the hope that Sam might, you know, use the bat against him. What I really want to do is run away from him, get to that safe room, or get to that like weird, ho like burned out hotel area and hide instead of run again so that I can get that totem that I was missing. see Emily run towards the flamethrower dude what and you mean in the mines <gasps> yeah I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about the stuff that we find unless it's new since been there done that you know I'm missing something right here. Gee, Hannah, crush much? It's still really hard to believe these these uh, characters are in high school. Yeah. All right, since we know that the stranger with the th like the flamethrowers like cool, I'll run towards him when I'm playing as him. Kind of curious to see what's like oh, what happens no. to. Could this be any more about Mike? Oh, so like, I made a comment during my playthrough about how these little magazines are just terrible trash. It's not just magazines; a lot of online articles are trash too. Like, the internet is the one place where you gotta be the most skeptical about everything you read. I've been seeing a lot of articles lately that are like pure crap, and they're only up there for the sake of putting ads all over the place. Plus, if you escape the stranger, there's an extra scene in the... Next chapter where you play as Sam wandering through the cycle's workshop. Oh, 
If you escape, not the stranger, but the cycle. Yeah, yeah. I want to see that scene too. And I do believe that that is everything I could check out in here. Yeah, definitely. Alright, let's head downstairs, hang out with Josh. Get this fire going. Still locked, never mind. Hi, Mifi. 312, hello. Yeah. We'll get more clues about Josh's mental condition. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit board. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're fun, right? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Hey Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys, see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um... <laughs> Okay, guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? Hey, Captain Ree, or Captain Rye. Hey, Swift. Just finished dinner? Cool, man. Oh, love that, uh, Dan, love that on here we get to see you explore everything as opposed to editing things out. Yeah. I mean, like, I edit things out when they're just completely boring. Usually, I don't know, I guess it's just my style or something, but I try to leave as much in as possible so that people who really like the details have that. I don't know, I think some people can find it boring if there's not, like, a lot of cuts everywhere, but... I don't know, when I watch when I watch playthroughs, I prefer to, like, take it all in, so that's how I edit. But I cut out stuff like wandering aimlessly, <laughs> so I do that. Like, it's less of a problem with action games, but like games where like you really need to explore and like be detailed and stuff, I can- I take my sweet time. Hey, you notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. Mmm, they are sweet together. Um... I don't know if... See, like, I kind of want to say Chris needs to go for it, but I don't know why it says mocking. Huh. Well. Whatever. Let's just go with their sweet. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like... Something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> Hi, sissy. Alright. Don't think there was anything here, either. I already checked the basement as Chris. I don't think there'd be anything new, but just in case. Just gonna look for those glimmering lights. No. Nothing. So, the Ouija board, right? I'm gonna say, like, Josh was pushing. No, Sam. Yes, Josh? <laughs> I just wanted to say. 
what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. Mm. Mm. Let's go with uneasy. Like, I was really curious about uneasy. And since, like, I've already found out what reassuring the dialogue for that, let's go with this one. I'll, look, I'll be honest. It's definitely weird being back here, but I think it'll help us all put everything behind us. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Oh, not much of a difference in response. Oh, hello, what is this? Oh, locked door, never mind. Oh my god, these stairs. Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle <laughs> a little old set of stairs. Oh my god. See, here, here, this is this is actual in-game proof that I overthink things. This broken stair right here. Oh man. <laughs> Intelligent, considerate, adventurous. So I probably made the right choice. Oh yeah, cool. She and Chris are, I think, the most considerate people. Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Hmm. Creepy comment. Let's go check out that dollhouse, uh, Sam. I wonder if we can. Yes, we can. Oh. Was that... You all heard that, right? It was like some kind of like mechanical clicking. Weird. No comment. No comment. And this horse. This fucking horse. Anyway, that Ouija board. I'm under the assumption that Josh was the one that was um pushing it around. Oh, it was the the clicking was Josh. Okay. Um, I'm guessing he was the one that's like was manipulating the message. But if he wasn't that, then I'm, I would feel like there's definitely a ghost in this house. else one last area to go and we'll interact with Josh I want to check out this area in case there was anything worthwhile yep a house but not a clue all right all right so here um Remember when we were playing as Chris and Ash, and they were like moving through the lodge, right? And you saw like an image of like what looks like a ghost moving through the hallway, right? It looks different. The hair looks different than that puppet that Josh was setting up. That puppet only popped out when we went through this locked door over over there down the hallway. That was the only time it ever popped up. I mean, I'm assuming he's really good at special effects since his dad was a horror movie director, but. For him to get a robot, like a robot ghost, to be moving around the house, that's really, really impressive. That's pretty fucking high tech. I know he's rich. You can probably afford it, but that's way high tech. I learned that Beth had to die, no matter what, so maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Having more details this second time around would be useful to figure that out. Pretty rough playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam? Anyway, 
I'm supposed to be fixing this whole guy, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If if there was a ghost, if if there was a ghost, it'd definitely be a bath. Here, can you can you hold this? What's that? What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, cool. Okay, I'll depend on you, Swift, for a recap. You see that little blue light twitching? Nice one. I got caught as I was holding this controller with one hand. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure uh, yeah. <laughs> before we get the boiler fired up. Sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. I know, sometimes game logic doesn't make any sense to me personally. Like... Whoa. That's more like it. <laughs> Alright. Five, girl. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no more twitching. What can I say? I get nervous. What the hell is that? That could be a lot of things. None of them nice. Just quit it. <laughs> I'm just... just joshing you. <laughs> oh, you were really freaked out. Mmm. We're gonna... Let's, let's do the prank. Like, really do it. Probably just like not anything. Uh, why don't you hold down the floor while I make sure? Okay, wh whatever you say, madam. Totally different feel. Totally. And there's the rat again. Huh. Yeah, I guess it'd be hard to throw snakes into a game like this. I wonder if those. <laughs> Chris. Strangers! Hey. Uh, what? Hey. What the hell? Boom. You just got mucked. What? <laughs> That's a nice one. That was good. Wait, but why would you do that? There's all this cool old movie crap down here. What was I? Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you? Are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. No, I didn't turn off the vibrations on the controller. Your dumb little prank may have a slight whip of humor. Joke master! Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared, admit it. I was not! Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! I don't think I can turn off the vibrations. What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Oing, 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 oing. 
Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. Wait, I can turn them off? I didn't think you could. The vibrations, I mean. Hello, Earth to Matt. You gonna come with me to get my bag? Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. But then again, I didn't really check that that much. Huh? Global stats, defaults, control, you want... Yeah. Yeah, I don't really know how. Brightness, audio, sound. Mm, okay, whatever. No big deal. What is this magic totem gonna show us? I think this one was already used up, correct? Yeah. Come on, trigger. Nope. Which one did this look like? I want to make sure I do not miss it. Yeah, we already got it. Okay. Moving on. Oh, also, apparently this is a bonus chapter that you get from pre-ordering the game. Pretty fluid. Here you are, madam. Why, thank you, sir. Hey, M. Yeah? Okay. Kept on trying to be a nice guy as Matt and keeping the peace, but that's probably not the right way to play him. The right way to play him would probably be to support Emily as much as possible. But I do feel like these two, their relationship it was like falling apart from the beginning. I think we should start the weekend over. Right now. Clean slate. Oh? No arguing. No mic. No Jess. Just you and me enjoying ourselves and all this nature. Oh, you mean oh natural? Damn straight. I can get with that. They definitely made Emily the most easily hated character. Like, her character is just like built that way. Which is something you really need when you got so many different personalities mixed up in one environment. If they were all cool, it would not be as entertaining. So, there's a purpose- OH! And a buck. Yeah. Yeah. Like, her and Jessica, I think, are two characters that are built around, um, a cringe factor. Mike and Sam are built to be liked, for sure. Chris too. You have to have clashing personalities or else it, there would be no dynamic. Oh, it's, she reminds you of your sister? She reminds me of a couple people I know too, actually. I feel really weird about M sometimes, because she does remind me about, like, of a, uh, of a, of a girl I, I know. Couple girls, actually. Hey, Doofus, come this way. You, uh, trying to get me somewhere private? Why don't you, uh, come find out? She's useful, though. That's weird. Doing weirdo. Good boy. Now obey. <laughs> oh my god. Matt. Hey, at least she's super confident. That's good. Yeah. Thanks for helping me find my bag. I know I can be a little high maintenance. It's no problem, babe. 
but you gotta remember there's more to this guy than just being a lean, mean, luggage-lifting machine. You gonna back that up? All day. <laughs> what? All day. All day. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Like, all day long. I was being, like, sexy. Alrighty. Now, this is definitely not the Wendigo. It's Mr. Creepy Stranger Guy. He's a... he's a lurker, this guy. If I was one character in this game, I'd be the stranger. Huh. Cool. Always watching. Oh, it's so pretty out here tonight. Wow. Yeah. It's so nice to be here with you, muscle man. Uh, I'm not all muscle. <laughs> there are some brains in here, too. Well, you got enough brains to like me, so let's see that brawn. You ever done it outside before? Outside of what? My car. I like your car. Roomy. This ain't roomy enough for you? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so I can turn off vibrations in the PS4 settings. Ah, oh, that's a lot. I'm pretty lazy. There's a lot of work. I'll just live with it. Play hard mode. I just make everything harder for myself. Whenever I play something, it's always hard mode. Not really. Alright, let's dust this bad boy off. Uh, you know what? Maybe there's a better spot. Does this spot start with a G? There are lots of places out here. I already started clearing this off for us. Like a gentleman. Oh, come on, let's look around. Hmm, let's play. Oh. Well, look at that. Oh, ouch. Oh, ouch. Hey. The hell, Em? Don't be jealous. Why would you take me here? Made me feel like a chump. Don't be so sensitive. I'm here with you right now. Mike's the chump. Okay. Maybe chump isn't the right word. What is? Lucky. Hmm. You got in there. Matt's a sweetheart, but sometimes I feel like he's a. Uh, he's definitely not being honest with himself. Like. Like what? You know. Why would you react that way unless you were like actually kind of insecure about their past relationship? I mean, dude, this is in the past, man. Let it go. Shit, shit happened in the past, but we did see them hugging, so questionable, questionable activities. Hanasuru, so Emily's a cheater? Mmm, can't wait to find that out for myself. Oh man, that's gonna be good. That's that's one of the things I'm going for too. I'm gonna find out if if they cheated, when. Get the sexy kisser on this thing, dare to put your hand in it. Why? Hey, I wouldn't. Just slide it up in Ooh. there. Oh shit! <laughs> Whoa, 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 wait, wait, are you pulling a prank? Emily! Emily! Oh, uh, you... Uh. <laughs> gotcha, big dip. Jesus, you're ridiculous. Oh, come on. What was that? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably just an animal. Do not like. Um, was there anything up here? Oh, okay. Well, I missed this area the first time. Worth it, worth it to check out though, that was a fun little interaction. Alright, heading on down. Unless there's a little thing in this corner? No. Chan says, I feel like Emily just shits on everyone because she's a cunning girl. She can do that. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. She is pretty witty. Mm. 
you are, madam. Thank you. Oh my, very impressive. There's also probably a little sense of superiority mixed up in there. Wait, what is this way? Is this a path? Oh, this is um the gate back. Got it. If I picked up douche options when I'm trying to save Emily at the fire tower, aka pick the suspicious one, she admits she created Okay, okay, cool. Gonna be gonna be looking forward to that dialogue. I was gonna I was gonna choose the suspicious route and then Matt will jump from the fire tower to rescue himself because I wanna see the difference. Hey. The hell? Uh, that was not there before. Is that a note? Whoa. Uh... Yeah, this guy really went all out with the details. It's gotta be Chris. Or Josh. They're just trying to mess with us. <laughs> kind of uncool, guys. I don't like this. Me neither. Oh! Matt! What the hell's going on? That's pretty good, he called it. What the hell did this? He called it. You know, I'm kinda not giving a shit about my panties anymore. I kinda just wanna split. Agreed. Yeah, these pigs are pretty huge. And oh, there's a raven. Finally! Okay, so that's all the difference it makes. A raven. I better see like a goddamn flock in here soon, doctor. I would like to understand your feelings toward people of fear, isolation, loneliness. Do you share this fear? Mm, fear, isolation, and loneliness? Uh... Eh? Yeah, I do, I guess. There's, there's a cobra. That's not reflected in the way you are playing your game, now is it? Ah, uh, now the magic's gone. The dialogue is the same. Aw, oh, I was kinda disappointed. I mean, I guess it's really hard to make possible. The game to track your uh, decisions so that it can determine whether you're playing it honestly or not. That's crazy. And it's too crazy. Now, let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. Okay, chat. What you value? What you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? This time I'll let you all make I'll let you make all the decisions. I'll just sit here and wait. So if you care, then uh share your opinion. Loyalty or honesty? Although, if I'm playing as Josh, probably loyalty would be smart. First answer I see, loyalty. This one's probably not that important. So you would tell a lie in order to be loyal to a friend, okay. And what about loyalty versus charity? Yeah. How about this one? I'm not really sure how these these matter. Loyalty, charity, honesty. I'm not really sure how... if they matter at all, actually.
The really clever part is how good it is the first time around making you overthink. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what happened to me. I mean, I overthought everything. But now that now that we're on a second playthrough, I really don't think these little things right here, the loyalty charity and stuff. Um So you would sooner look after your friends before caring for those in great need? Oh, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. There's been a lot of dialogue, so I don't remember all of Josh's lines, but if there is a noticeable difference in the way he communicates based on those decisions, I would be very impressed. I'm not gonna count on that though, because I don't think those decisions really mattered. I thought we were on the part it was just where we pick who's the most hated and who's the most liked. Yeah, I'll get into the character. Okay, Today is the one but year anniversary of the you guys pick who's the most hated. Of Hannah and Beth uh, Washington, that'll be fun. Twins who are still missing. I personally don't care. I know it would mean hey, Midna. so much to Hannah and Beth Welcome that we're, to the stream. we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. Whoa, hello. It's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness? Stop it! Mike. Why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, alright. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. But watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, if that's how it's gonna be... Yes? <coughs> Jess! So, it says here, to communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. Okay, then. Let's see what happens. Ashley, since... You're a recent convert, why don't you be our medium for today? Mm, was Ashley a serious character? She's pretty straightforward and honest, right? That's why I let Matt see what was through the binoculars. But is she more serious? Yeah, all the character traits, like the meters are all the same. Oh! Honest? And curious are the highest bars. Charitable. Okay. She's not very funny. Okay. Um. Is anyone there? Will you reveal yourself to us if you're there? <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> H? What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? I swear, it's just moving. Holy shit. Help? How are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? We need to know who it is if we're supposed to help them. Hmm. I went with who needs help last time, I think. Let's find out how we can help. How can we help you? <laughs> it's moving again. Whoa. What's it spelling? <laughs> War. It's moving fast. Warning. Shit. Oh my god. Warning? I think we uh, really need to find out who's trying to communicate with us. Nah, I already know. <laughs> Clarify. What are you warning us about? Oh, here it goes. Okay, S. I. S. T. E. R. Sister. Sister? Whose sister? Oh, come on, is this for real? Shut up. Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Yeah, okay, well, which sister is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. Uh, Beth, is that you? are we speaking to? Beth? Is that you? Oh god! 
This is messed up. Josh, are you? I'm fine. Are you sure? Because we can stop. No. Dude, it's cool. I want to hear what it says. I don't know where to start. Think about it. If, if this is actually Beth, I mean, we can find out what happened that night. Oh. Okay. Um, let me think. Quick question. I actually don't remember my playthrough all that well. There were a lot of choices. I pretty sure I asked it if it was Hannah, right? And does anybody remember if the Ouija board still said yes when we asked it if it was Hannah? Because that would prove that Josh is moving us. Yeah, Josh's acting is really good. The actor, I think, that um, does the motion capture for Josh's character is really good too, actually. It takes a talent to, to act crazy, like legitimately insane. It says yes either way? Okay, then he's definitely, definitely doing it. Beth, we want to know what happened to you that night. Can you tell us? H A N N It's spelling Hannah. Wait, it's still going. K I L L Oh my god. Killed. Guys, guys, what's she talking about? I don't know if I can keep doing this. We have to. Just 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 stay calm. I I think it's saying that someone killed Hannah. I don't know. I just a ask it something else. Hmm. Let me ask how Anna died. Yeah, so Ashley is academic, inquisitive, and forthright. These, both of these prompts are pretty inquisitive. <laughs> okay. Okay. How was Hannah killed? L. I. B. The library. Maybe there's something in the library e here. E. R. O. Oh. Proof. There, there's, there's proof. In the library. Oh, no. ah! <laughs> Holy shit, Chris. You know what? No, this is bullshit. This isn't real. Josh, I don't know what's going on. Listen, I don't know. I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no! You wanted to use the spirit board! Hey, hey calm down. It's, it's not actually. I don't need fault. this right now, okay? You guys are full of it. Sh should we go after him? Ah, man, I'm, I mean, he'll be okay. Let's, let's just give him some time. I don't blame him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. I mean, if, if, if you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. I don't know, man. If that was me playing with a Ouija board, not that I would ever. Yes. My reaction would be just the same as Ashley's. Like, really, like, like, for real. Whoops. Oh, never mind. Went the right way. Okay, let's take a look around. She'll be fine. I, yes. She was only screaming because of that, Hun? uh, that elk like my thing. Life? Jess, where did you go? This is not funny. Jess! Whoa! Christ! Did I get anyone? I scared blue out of my jeans. <laughs> the hell is that doing in there anyway? Yeah, that's I still wanna know. I still wanna know. Like why? Oh, we can go up this way? Oh, that's did I go this way? Jessica! Oh come on. No, I didn't. I think this is new. Sweet. Yeah, I don't recognize this totem. Honestly, Danger totem. This is not funny. Okay. Anything else? Just a small little area for that totem. Alright. 
Nice. Nice. So, let's talk about Mike for a second. This guy is such a jokester. He's pretty funny. And they made him so easily likable. I mean, I chopped off his fingers. And in the end, and you know, Josh put him through hell basically tonight. And in the end, he's just like, I totally promise I won't murder you when I find you. Well, he oh! oh my god. Oh my god. That was so good. Not, no. Wait, wait, wait. You had to see this. You to I'm not look, seeing it. No. 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 <laughs> he was pretty chill at the end. I was scared, oh Jed. You can't just jump out at somebody. I'm in the middle of the woods. It's scary. I'm sorry to I'm, scare you. If you send that to anybody, I'm oh, what? gonna kill you. I didn't know you had such a cute little lady like scream, Michael. <laughs> Guess you never really know someone until you've scared the pants off of them. Hmm. Gotta try harder to take my pants off. As far as I can tell, my pants are still on. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Looks like you have to try harder. A challenge, eh? Well, I hope you're strapped in, because you're about to feel the full force of my mind mental thrill skills. Yeah, I mean, I really like the line at the end where he says to uh, Josh right before Josh dies, like, let's go, you crazy bastard, or something like that. Something along those lines. That's pretty cynical about life. Guidance totem? So, I didn't know it at the time, but that was actually Sam, huh? Sammy? Yeah. Doing okay so far? I don't think I've missed anything. And was this the way we came from? I th think it might be. Yeah? I don't know why they would give us three totems in a row, to be honest. Yeah, I think this is the path I came from. Either that or like some kind of weird loop area. Oh, whoa. This is where we got spooked, right? I think so. Yeah, oh my goodness, I went all the way back here. Wow, they put us really far from the last cutscene. This is where she spooked Mike. And the game threw us all the way over there. Whoa, wait a second. What the fuck? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at this skull. I can't just get a better look at it, but I don't know. From my viewing angle, it kind of looks like the same design as that weird image that we found at that shrine inside the mine that I assume that Josh just drew. Didn't look any... Ah, oh, I don't know. It doesn't look like any deer skull I've ever seen. It looks like it kind of has a weird demonic face. Very different path than I remember. It's really pretty here though. Like, I would be so down to go camping at this lodge. Shit. I think this is the one we just saw. Yeah. Yeah. The game spit us pretty far forward. Surprising. Double checking, got it right here. You want to talk? No? Okay. Wow, it's kind of like a real 
winter wonderland out here now. Hey girl, you know I'll help you up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me about it. Super pretty, super pretty. Like, he gets so quiet and, like, nervous when he's a little spooked. It's kind of funny. What? Do you hear that? No. Hello? Someone there? did that instinctively, but maybe it would have been best not to throw that rock in there. Uh, the weird image that I mentioned was most likely drawn by the creepy guy that's trying to help. It's a totem to ward off the wind- oh, it's a totem to ward off wendigos. Okay, well, we'll do okay, cool, I'll explore the cabin more. Was it that was that in the book that I could Charming. read because our lady Everything was you, described, Michael. you know rushing us along the cabin. I love it yeah hmm okay let's see let's see It'll be wow charitable way down what is going on what is happening his biggest traits are funny, brave, romantic. It's probably not romantic to scare the pants off of Jessica. But charitable is way low. Oh, it might have been, um... Was it? I don't know. Was it red before? Should we scare her back? Hey, Lisa Lambert. I see you. Yeah, I'm turning Mike into a full asshole. <laughs> like, like for real. It's cool. He can be a funny asshole. If I scare her, she won't take her clothes off. Well, I've already seen her with her clothes off. It's pretty freaking snowy outside. I don't know. I don't really care. If I scare her, she falls into the river. Hey, panda. Huh. I mean, like, okay, I've already seen like the uh, the naked Jess. Let's let's scare her. Let's scare her. Get some sweet revenge. Oh, that's so sad, dude. The water's so cold. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, so cold. Oh, I felt that. Oh, god. <laughs> no! Do not! Oh my god, Jess. Do not be laughing at me right now. Revenge is mine! Oh no, that is not fair. <laughs> Turn about is fair play, my good lady. I just scared you. I didn't soak you. That's true. That is true. I will do everything in my power to win you up. You better get cooking. No, we're not. We're going to take our sweet-ass time in that cabin. Culinary chops. Worth it. Let's see what Mike's stats are now. Wow, charitable went up. A funny's through the roof. Oh, and our relationship is still good. It's very poor with Matt, though. That's okay. Not very romantic. I 
I am a horrible person. I just hide it very well. <laughs> Alright, so that thing had its head almost cut off. I'm assuming it almost had its head cut off because Mike was able just to pull it the fuck off, right? What is that? I'm not sure I want to know. I'm guessing that means Wendigos eat more than just people. <laughs> it's about to snatch the body up so it can eat it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it eats more than just people. Damn. It's horrible. Jeez. Shit. I don't think he's gonna make it. Comfort the deer. Don't, don't kill the deer. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. God, the poor thing. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mike, it's in so much pain. It'll be over soon. Okay, buddy. It'll be over soon. Ah! Run! Run! Oh my god, what the hell was that? I don't know! Oh, there's a bridge! Get over here, Mike! Get over okay, here! Okay, showtime. <laughs> nah, dude. Oh, that's the shortcut. Come on. Ooh, that was a close shave. Come on, Mikey boy. Grab the girl. Come on, we gotta go! I am! <sighs> Mike, get the key, get it open! <gasps> oh my god! That was close. And we're good. Uh, what? And we're good. Get under control. Hold on. Oh, bullshit. No, 100%. 100%. 110. <sighs> Holy crap, I feel like I just ran a marathon. I think we kind of did. Was it a bear? Yeah, gotta be. Things are crazy fast. I mean, I didn't see it. Hey, things are not gonna come barging in, I promise. How can you be sure? Because I'm pretty sure bears don't know how to open cabin doors. I've seen them open car doors. What? Where? On the internet. <laughs> really? Okay, well, this isn't the internet, Jess. Right? This is real life. And I promise you that no bear or anything else is gonna open that cabin door. I guess you're right. Okay. I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. Almost. Okay. Huh. Typical. Urgh. This is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's a bit drafty or something, right? Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. Michael. I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Okay. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right. It'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. <laughs> Mike. Yeah. Fire and mood lighting. <laughs> yes. Still funny. Lady. Um, yeah. I'm planning to play... The, as much as I can. I, I don't want to say that I'm going to finish the game just in case something happens and I can't. But we're going to go as far as possible. With a break in between, I'm thinking maybe like 5 p.m. or in four hours, I'll take a break and then finish up. Feeling pretty good today, so. Chances are high we'll finish this by today. Plus, I need to break up the recordings because I think. Unless you want to make out with an ice sculpture, I suggest you get a fire going pronto. Because I think, um. Ah, this will take care of the mood lighting. Voice desyncing happens as, like, you go further and further with the stream, or longer and longer with the stream. Yeah, and Wolfie is not gonna die in this playthrough either. That. It's like my favorite character, yo. <laughs> Alright, logs are ready to go. Just need a match. Okay, let's take a look at this book. I really wanted to read this, but I never got a chance to. By Joseph Malik. Ok, 
Can we open it? Yes. You're lighting a fire, Michael, not writing a novel. How much longer is it gonna take you? Uh, the Great Spirit sees all. Hmm. So basically... It's like we weren't the only ones to meet the friendly neighborhood terror bears. That does not make me feel any better. First page was all about nature seeing all, so don't fuck with the animals. American signs and symbols. Hmm, North America and Canada. Good hunting ground. Image of a skull, ward or oh, so that really is legit. I didn't know that. It looks so. It's fake. so cold in here right now. My tongue will get stuck to your flagpole. That's okay. We got other stuff to do, lady. Like keep us both alive. Can't you appreciate that? Mike! What? Oh, crap! What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone! It is gone, okay? Yes, slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. Can't find it? Crap! No! I must have dropped it outside. Oh. Shit. I can't lose my phone. My parents <laughs> will kill More me. More like Sag Paul. <laughs> my fourth one is here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nothing's gonna be standing at full mass during this it's playthrough. Gotta be outside. Yeah, I don't think we want to go out there right now with the bear or whatever it is. <sighs> Fine. I just wish you hadn't gotten me completely soaking wet trying to scare me. Kind of a dick move. I'm sorry, Jess. Probably fell out in the water and doesn't even work anymore anyway, so whatever. I'll make it up to you. I promise. <laughs> that was interesting. Grab the matches, just in case. Light the fire, keep her butt lookie. warm. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? Gonna investigate the gun before, just in case. I want to make sure. Man one, fire zero. Very nice. Bravo. All right, my lady. Want to make sure he knows where it is. What comes next? I think. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, I I wish we had uh -oh. some booze. Uh. Well, uh, if I had known that ahead of time. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of just. I'm not feeling it yet. Please let me go investigate. Please let me go investigate. No, check the other room first. Shit, shit, shit. I can just restart this. Is there no chance to check the room after we talk to her right now? Or like the moment we have finished this conversation, the Wendigo is gonna bust in. Man, too much in a hurry to be considerate, damn it. Hmm. I'm thinking that I'll go through with this. And if shit happens, I can just yeah, gonna reassure. Okay, I'm gonna go through this dialogue. Hopefully, it won't trigger the Wendigo attacking, and we can continue to explore. If the Wendigo does attack, I'll just restart this using the menu. Am I doing something wrong? No, 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 no. I mean, I thought you were one way, but you're kind of another way. Does if that make sense? It's it's not your fault. <laughs> Laura. Uh, Jess, I really like you. Whoever you think I am, well, just give me a chance, and I will show you what you need. Well, I am liking your confidence. 
Mike, the shutters. What about them? Um, close them, please? <laughs> There's just no one out there. I feel like someone's watching us. I don't like it. Do it. Yes, really. It's fine. <laughs> I really don't like it. Okay, shutter it. Yes. Yes. Oh, God, yes. Yes, I don't even care to see you naked right now. I just want to get them clues, girl. Give me them clues. Oh, that was a close one. Nice. This will lighten up the mood a little. Uh, on? Ow. Ah! Ooh. Hey, why are you okay? What are you doing? It's, it's the lights. I know it's the lights, dummy. You broke them. But it's probably faulty wiring or something. Uh, You've got faulty wiring. Oh, look at this. What's Hannah? Playing tennis. And a winning bronze, Alberta Invita Invitational. Whoa, she's good. Alright. Can you please close the shutters? Please? Let's see. I want to make sure that Mike knows where the gun is. So we're going to pick it up and take a look at it. Oh, Jess! Look at this! Is it a fire? Hello, Lightning oh, Fear. Welcome cooler. to the stream. Check this out. Huh? How you like me now? Oh my god. Why do guns make men go completely bonkers? Nothing. Just can't do anything right now because she's a lady and she really needs a mood lighting. Don't you know? She'll never understand what we have together. Uh. Admittedly, she's probably pretty cold. Did fall into the river after all. Oh, whoops. Mm-mm, mm-mm, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Let's not pick up her cell phone. I think it would be good to find this other book that you guys are talking about. And then... Uh, close the shutters and then pick up the cell phone, maybe? There's that book. What's this? Oh, a Kama Sutra book! Wait, who's living out here? Oh, hell yeah. These guys were inventive. Yeah, you know what's, uh, what's kind of funny? I actually bought a Kama Sutra book when I was like in seventh grade at a local oh, library. Or not sure if I'm ready for local such advanced store. levels of game play. It was right there. I thought it'd be funny to buy it, so I did. I brought it to class one day. My teacher looked at me really funny. M my friends thought it was hilarious. There's no pictures. Shit. God damn, Mike. You're much. What do you think was in there, Mike? Come on. He spooks it a lot easier than I thought he did. I mean, come on, dude. It's just a couple of curtains, or it's just one curtain. Okay, whose book is that? Did Hannah live out here? I mean, her picture was there. Interesting. I didn't hear the cell phone, but that might have been because. Oh, you know, I originally came in here. The cell phone was thrown in through the window. I just picked it up automatically. I'm guessing the event triggers based on where you are in the conversation. That is kind of cool. Wait. Well, can we check out the painting, or was that just a picture of Hannah that's still getting triggered? Oh, okay, see? Okay, never mind. Alright, so we're gonna go over there, adjust the shutters, and the Wendigo is gonna attack. I am guessing that's gonna, uh, the situation. 
If you didn't go check out her cell phone when she mentions her cell phone, then it's the shutters. Voila. Shutters are shutted. Now, where were we? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I'm a little freaked out, and it's hard for me to, like, keep this up, and... What? Keep, keep what? Look, I act all super confident and like a total sexy babe and everything, but underneath, I gotta be honest, I am really kind of insecure. Whoa. This is a wholly, totally different, totally different feel to Jess than what I first experienced. Uh, this is kind of fascinating. Wow. What a developmental character. There's so much more depth to her now. Jess. You've got to be kidding me. What? You have nothing to be insecure about. Oh. <laughs> you have no idea. Sure I do. You're just like me and everyone else. We're all insecure. Yeah, man. But you know how to handle yourself. You might call it a front, but it's real. Yeah, I guess I do. Yeah, and that's super fucking hot. Really? Yeah, hell yeah it is. Yeah, girl. Come here. Duh. Josh was uh, leaving the Conversation book here. Maybe I know how care. to handle you too. Oh! I am definitely ready to be handled. <laughs> These two are hilarious. Oh! Yeah, okay. No 60 times for them. Maybe Josh left the Kama Sutra book here in the cabin? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh shit, you know what just hit me? If this was Hannah's Wendigo, and she's got a bit of human consciousness left. Oh, she'd be super fucking pissed. Those, uh, okay, well, go find out now, please. Those images, oh my god, wallflowers. Ah, uh, okay, cool girl. You're not gonna be freezing in the winter storm. Never mind. Here's the cell phone. Oh, I just made everything move a lot quicker than I thought during the playthrough. It's your phone! What? How is it my phone? I don't know, it just came through the window. Oh, for fuck's sake, god damn it! What? Those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business. <sighs> this is like one of my favorite parts of this game. This is hilarious. Hey! Yeah, pricks! That means you! I know you're out there! The fuck are you trying to do? You want to ruin our fun that bad? <sighs> well, guess what? You can't! You can't ruin our good time because Michael and I are gonna fuck! <laughs> That's right! We are going to have sex and it's gonna be hot! So enjoy it because I know we're going to... <sighs> This <laughs> girl. Give me a break. <sighs> Yikes. Dude, it looks like those claws went right into her skull. Hannah be mad though, for real. Do you really think the girls were communicating with us? I don't know. I don't know if I wish they were, or if I wish they weren't. I guess we should find out. Yeah, so during that Ouija board scene, right? There was a... I'm guessing the animatronic robot was like there in the background. It's just really impressive to th think that he... 
Josh made a robot that can walk around. Josh looked really freaked out at the seance. Yeah, I mean, he, he looked like he was keeping it together, but... Do you think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters? It's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not to, like, have a seance. Maybe we went too far. Pretty cool. Pretty cool motion capture. Anyway. Like, Gil, like, robotics. Huh? Oh. And a Washington. The, uh, the robotics thing, like, moving, walking robots aren't really a thing yet. Yet he has one in his house moving around. That's crazy. So when we're in the lodge, I only have to worry about finding clues, never have to worry about finding totems, because only totem totems are only ever outside. Was there a thing on the shelf? No, I don't think so. This is a locked door. Damn it. And I don't think there was anything in this room. Oh. Except this. Power's not even on. Weird. Oh, so the song that was playing on um on Jess's phone. I uploaded yesterday's stream onto YouTube and it got <laughs> Holy crap! Are you okay? I think so. Look! What? There was something behind the box. What is that? Is it a button? Why would there be a button? That's a good question. Should I push it? That's what buttons were for, I guess. Anyway, I uploaded yesterday's stream onto YouTube and it got flagged for copyright because of that song, which is fine, it's chill. But I'm kind of thankful because it made me curious about the song and so I gave it an actual full-on listen. Pretty good song. Good lyrics. Interesting lyrics. Like. Didn't really think much of it during this game because they only ever, like, have, like, a little clip of it. I'm not sure whether that was on purpose or not, just having a clip. I don't really know the laws about using small samples of music. But yeah, anyway, I checked out the full song. That explodes. Good shit, like good in shit. A movie right now? If we are, I hope it's around, Cam. Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house? I mean, maybe they didn't even know. This place is super old. So, should we take a look? Yeah, after you. No, 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 no. You go. <sighs> Gee, thanks. The name of the song, you mean? Okay. Um, let me find it for you really quick. Video manager. Third party content. The song is called Hey Hey Hey, It's Gonna Be Okay by Stephanie Sid. Yeah, check it out. Good stuff. Oh, camera, item. Oh, so these twins. What? Whoa, is what this... did you find? They're um they're made they're holy cow. They're played by the same actress, both of them. Uh well, no, there's there's really not much in here. Did you look everywhere? Uh, are we really gonna take orders from a spirit but board? But it said the library. Ash, there's nothing here. Let's just go find Josh, okay? Hey, it's the same notebooks as from Life is Strange. Apparently, these are pretty common in other parts of the world, but I've never really seen them in my entire life. Like. Binders with a hole in them, man. Uh, what was that? 
let's see. What else is in here? I'm pretty sure. That Nothing. was really bizarre. Yeah, you're telling me. Why would there be a whole secret room back there with the button and the moving wall if it was just empty? Yeah, it wasn't empty. I don't know. Chris is a protective person, but I don't know if you would want to hide that kind of truth from anybody, especially like, you know, if they're here with you. I would definitely want to know. Looks like it was written by Josh's mom. Yeah, she's really making an effort to set things right with some native tribe or something. Yep, the bad karma goes back a long way. No, was this the front entrance? Yeah, yeah it was. And there was nothing here. Where am I from? I'm from the west coast of the US. So, um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? There was a message on this answering machine I found, and it. It, w it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who had just got out of prison and that there was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like, like a warning. I mean, maybe that's whoever was down in the basement before. What? Under the floorboards in the library, the light. Well, there was that guy I told you well, about. Wait, 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 what guy? The guy who threatened the Washingtons. I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. Chris. If this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. Ain't you feeling better in this situation, yo? You hear that? Come on. That was Josh! Oh, coming from the kitchen. Josh! Josh! Oh. Coming! Hold on! Ah. Ashley! Ashley, what's going on? Bring it! Uh. Ashley! Are you okay? I'm gonna... And here we go. Hey. Alright. This at this point in the game things are gonna get a little bit more interesting. Things are gonna pick up. And I swear that's this that's the same undershirt that Josh had on in the first place. He just threw another shirt on top, put on some overalls. But he, his frame does look a lot bigger though. He looks like a bigger person. Is that a zombie? Still got a crow. I think that was a zombie head on that mannequin. I'm going to show you some uh, pictures oh, of people that you've come to know. Who's our most hated? Who do we like? But maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time, your answers are important. I'm a little confused about why he says take your time and then he rushes us later on. But yeah, y'all make the decisions here. I'll leave this up to you. Josh or Sam? We love Sam? I love Sam too. For sure, most people are gonna say Matt over Emily, but I'll give it a moment.
Oh, I think I need to give you guys more time. People are still saying Sam. Okay, I'll give you much longer before I make this decision. Emily? Emily over Matt? <laughs> two Matts, one- two Emilys, two Matts, three- Wow, it's pretty tied up. 3-3 three, three right now. Controversy, yeah! So far, it's- what is this? One, two, three, two, two, three, three. Okay, M wins. Wow, cool. This is gonna be interesting. Ashley or Chris? Okay, I'll get Josh as the most hated one. I want to see the doctor's reaction to that too, actually. Two to one, three to one. Wow, overwhelming. Overwhelming. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six to one. Six to four right now. One, two, three. Four. Any more? Any takers? Alright, Chris. Chris it is. Mike or Jessica? This is funny, this is all our reactions combined. This is pretty much everybody's love it or hate it playthrough. <laughs> Mikey boy. Two, three, to three, four to four, five to five. Ah, it's perfectly tied. It's five to five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, perfectly tied. Next one wins. Next one's a tiebreaker. Oh, Panda got it. Matt or Josh? Oh, we're gonna go with Josh as the most hated, right? In that case, I'm gonna go for Matt. How about this one? Ashley or Mike? I, I think everyone's... I think... Well, actually, no! You guys might surprise me! I, I don't want, I'm not gonna say it. Just vote. Two one three one, dude. Overwhelming, Mike. Yeah, I I wanted to say, I think everybody's gonna pick Mike over Ashley, but you never know. So tell me, in this little game you're playing so diligently, yeah. Sorry, who Swift. Is it that you most dislike. I dislike Josh. Oh, uh, full of surprises. I think I'm beginning to understand you far better now. Oh. Oh. I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time. Don't be too hard on Joshua. He's been through... He's been through so much. But you know that already, don't you? Whoa. Whoa. Cool, that was interesting. one individual we're considering as a person of interest. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. Apparently he had warned them against pursuing their construction project in Blackwood Pines and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. S. 
I. S. T. Sister? Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's it's gotta be. Which sister is it then? Ah! Run! Oh. Oh. oh my god. Hush! Maybe I know how to handle you, too. Oh. Alright, chapter 4, oh, malevolence. Oh, what the fuck? Jessica! Oh my god! Oh my god! Jess! It is action time. Uh, versus shortcut. Last time I did something funny and like <laughs> I paused the game right there just to talk. Oh man, that's that's totally what I do. Jessica! Jessica! I don't think we're gonna be able to shoot anything yet. Uh, jump down. Whoa. I should know these are coming. I, I should know these are coming, but I don't remember. Jump for it. Whoa. Oh, so we're still slide down, of course. Yeah, Mikey boy, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Okay, I don't remember there being any kind of totems around here. I did kind of like walk around a bit. A bit more than I would have hoped. Jessica! Yeah, th it doesn't make any sense for there to be a, a totem around here right now. This is not the time for exploring. And now we're indoors. Oh, there is a totem soon. Oh, okay. Where is it? Is it in here? Like inside the... The barn? Jessica, I'm coming! I'm coming! Oh god, I feel like it's a time crunch right now. I didn't see any glimmering lights, so I think we're okay. Yeah, don't take too long. Yeah. Yeah, Jessica! this is not the time we... Oh! It's here. Okay, got it. Got the totem. Oh, it's a wolfy one. I remember this. Kinda looks like a wolf, too. Not really. Okay, let's get her done. Let's go. Jessica? I hate that this is as fast as they can move. Jessica! Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I think we're okay. No! Are you moving? Oh, Is she moving? God. Oh yeah, she's moving. No, okay, Jessica. we're good. Okay, okay. 
We're good. Oh, I'm not gonna shoot the Wendigo. Jess, Jess, are you okay? Oh, uh, R2, R2. Oh, okay. okay, it's just set up that way. Got it. What the fuck? Do I shoot it? Do I shoot it? Fuck, I did it anyway, whatever. Gotta go fast. Differences, or at least I get to see it. And how convenient, there's another light. Chill, chill, that's cool. Where the heck are we now? Oh, well, hardly makes a difference. We're still out here. He doesn't look as dirty, definitely. Jess is gonna be alive until the end. Oh no. Mike and Sam are gonna be alive until the end. Just because of Hannah Bias. <laughs> Ashley! Oh. Now I just need to worry about Chris and Ashley's relationship still, still being okay. Ash! Ash! And I gotta make sure that Chris gets back to the lodge as safe as possible. Not good. Not good at all. Getting pretty nervous okay. about the Chris and the the shotgun situation. It's gonna be stressful. Oh man. Yeah, definitely won't point the gun at her when they're both tied up. Um, I think like the important thing for Chris is to keep his health like keep his relationship with Ashley healthy am i right so that means picking her over Josh cuz i think no matter what uh Josh's relationship with Chris is going to like crumble because of what Josh is doing to everybody hey mona welcome to the stream yeah there wasn't anything more than Ashley's purse the fuck? There's a crow. I don't know if it was there before. Oh shit. No. In the last playthrough.
Let's see. Yeah, there's nothing. All right. I like your uh, your opinion on this. I'm going to Ash when Chris is making the decision between Ashley and Josh in his mind, I'm going to pick Ashley. But is it important to pull the trigger or is it okay for me just to leave it there and let the uh, the track change on its own? Yeah, we finally get crows, right? No more leg twitches? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try my best. Like, dang. Good to have you here, Mona. Ashley! Oh, I don't need to pick Ashley over Josh. Oh, really? Ashley! Are you talking for like when we need to pull the lever? Oh, I see. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I just. I'll just do exactly what I did last time. Oh, we're getting crows! That's this is exciting. I finally see some choices happening. Although I gotta admit, I don't really remember if they they showed up during my previous playthrough. <laughs> like the rats are showing up regardless. Yeah, I'm thinking because. Josh set up the dummy that it defaults to Josh anyway, right? But I guess it's because the lever technically quote unquote doesn't work. Okay, let's oh! A zombie. What in the hell? Small choices. Small choices, y'all. Who would do this? He's <laughs> got the googly eyes. I don't need to pick Ashley instead of Josh with the lever, but if you choose not to shoot her later, she doesn't kiss Chris goodbye and goes outside. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't let him in when he's running back? That is so cold. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Chris tried to shoot her so he can live. Yo, that's oh, shit. crazy. Damn. That's just like one of those emotional responses, yo. Like, damn. Yep, always gotta get that healthy dose of zombie spooks. Although admittedly, with all the zombie games that have been coming out for the past couple years, I don't find them as scary anymore. They're not as like horrifying as they are. I mean, if they happen in real life, I would be horrified, but as far as like media is concerned, they're not as spooky. Ash! Yeah, for sure that totem was, was totally Chris. This all hits Josh no matter what I pick, and that way you do or don't pull the lever. Okay, I won't pull the lever, but I will pick Ashley when Josh, or when Chris is trying to decide. Yeah, I'll try to save Ashley every time. Let's see. Oh man, she holds a grudge against Chris. That's interesting. Okay, cool. Let's see, let's see. There wasn't a it looked like there was a trail up there for like a quick second. Ash! 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 I'm gonna focus on Josh's fake body. I wanna see if like maybe it was just a situation and the predicament that we were in that I overlooked th that detail or if like the puppet was really that good. During the explanation scene, he put his head on top of the dummy's neck and it looked pretty obvious that it was a Ash. fake. But the moment he st like it stopped moving, it looked pretty like fluid. I don't know. Oh wait, 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 wait! Hold on. Is this a place I've never been? Is this a place I've never been? Y 
Yes, this looks like a place I've never been. Cool. And here's a totem that I've missed. Ooh! Ashley's potential death. Okay, how are we doing with the totems? Still- Yeah, still good! Wait! 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 Wait, 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 wait. I think I picked up one of these two later on during my first playthrough. I don't know if I missed any. Shit. She isn't hanging around the door waiting for him to come back. She actually isn't there to let him in. Uh, okay. Don't think she's a grudge. Dating fan Titanic. Oh, <laughs> flashbacks with this and Ash, Ash, Ash. <laughs> If you choose to let Josh die, he's going to psych out on Chris later for Oh, okay. Yeah, Josh does watch a lot of Saw movies. Um, he's gonna trip out. It's either, I mean, it's either you pick Ashley and keep their relationship intact so that she doesn't kill Chris accidentally, or you kind of ruin their bromance, but at least Josh will live to the end. So we're gonna go that route. Well, what happens if you pick- oh, I don't know. I don't know if what happens if I were to pick Josh and then pull the lever to Ashley. Most likely what will happen is that either the lever doesn't work at all or the track automatically flips to Josh. Because during my first playthrough I chose not to choose and the lever went and I was like freaking out that I was going towards a track and then it switched over and then Josh got cut in half. The lines he said later on were that he never intended to kill anybody. This was all a prank, so I can't imagine he would let Chris kill Ashley. It must be an accident. To oh, it's who I say to save. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. I don't think there's anything above this path. So let's go into the house. Oh, might as well take a look at this since I'm doing a lot better with the totem. See if there's any new information. Thing. And my Sometime after the prospectors came to mine this mountain until a cave in trap and driven mad murderers. Human flesh, wounds, and many hunts. My grasp beyond my reach. Oh, that's was, that was new. I was here ago. My sight. <laughs> okay, still bits and pieces. Still just bits and pieces. For sure, there was a a small but new clip for me. I wonder if that events from the past timeline... It's just the totems, right? The clues have nothing to do with them, right? Ashley! Anything this way? No. Oh, and the door shut. So he's got electronic uh, switches working all the way out here. God damn it! Please help me. Uh, I'm coming, Ash. Just, uh, just keep talking to me. What happened? Chris, please sign me up. I can't move. Ashley, I'm gonna get you out of this. Don't worry. I'm really scared, Chris. <laughs> Hurry, please. Any more conversation? No, that's it. Are you there? Hello. And thank you all for joining me. Tonight, we're going to conduct a little experiment. Sort of test. Now for this experiment, we'll need the cooperation of our two test subjects. 
Joshua, and Ashley. What? Oh my god. But we're gonna need one more brave participant to help decide which subject will live and which will die. Oh, no. Josh's right leg looked like it bent for a second. Please, 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 everyone calm down. So very yeah, simple. Yeah, but it's not bending now. <laughs> you will find a lever placed directly in front of you. All you have to do is choose who you will save. Okay, 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 this is gonna be okay. But it moves a lot more than I thought of. Buddy! Like a dumb you about this for a minute. His you throat's can't moving me too. Die. Give me a second, I I I uh huh? I can't think straight, just huh? like Josh or yeah, Josh's throat was moving as he was talking. But I'm pretty sure the top of the throat where the like where the base of his skull meets his neck was where he attached his head to the dummy, so it's uh it's easy to be fooled. I'll get you out of this. I won't let you die. No. You Please, no. Oh, I think I picked Josh last time. This is yeah. insane. This is not. This isn't happening. Chris, please tell me this isn't happening. I, 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 I don't know what to do. Bro, bro, we've been through so much. Come on, I don't want to go out like this. Chris, please. I'm I know, so I know, scared! Please don't let him kill us! And I've been kind of messed up and everything, but I'm getting better, Dude, man, I I'm swear. pretty sure the... It's gonna just switch over, right? It's gonna switch over. Oh, I yeah. see. You have chosen to save me, No, Chris! Oh, no, 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 Why can't I look? Chris, please tell me he's okay, please. Yo, you know he's not okay, dude. Don't lie to yourself. I'm coming, Ash. I'm, I'm gonna get you down. I'm letting you down. Shh, stop, stop, please. Come on, come on. Let's, let's, let's get you down. Come on, we're gonna get you out of here. No! We gotta go, okay? <laughs> Well, I'll be looking forward to seeing how crazy Josh Chris. gets now that we've chosen Ashley. Ashley. <laughs> what? what? Whose butt is that, Josh, Ash? Are you okay? Chris, what happened? Josh! Josh, what? Dude? You said Wait, not what? right in front of us, man. What are you the, talking there's about? There's a maniac. N maniac? Oh my god, we gotta get out of here. I don't understand what happened. There's a maniac, and he was there with a saw <laughs> It was either him or Ash, and I, I don't know what oh to do. It's gonna come right through my head, spill it out fucking everywhere. <laughs> Free sausages. What? Oh my god, Chris. What? And I, I killed him. What? I, I, I killed him. It was my fault, man. No, no, this is insane. We need to go get some help. It come right in half. We're gonna figure this out. <laughs> Matt, we need to go get help now. And we should look for the others. Mike and Jess are off 69ing each other, and who knows where Sam is. I think she's in the lodge. Fine. Fine, you're right. Get everyone else together, but if there's a maniac running around, I think we need to get some help, too, right? Not just wait around. But what about... Why are we still talking about this? Let's go! Honestly, lover or hater, Emily is really rational. Which is pretty good about, like, getting everybody's act together. But then she says stupid shit like Mike and Jess are 69ing each other. It just kind of like throws everything out the window for some people. I'm sure. Oh. Hello again. Things are getting pretty tense up there, aren't they? Tell me about it, Doc. Is the night going the way you hoped it would? Yeah, it's going fine. I see. 
And you think that these poor people are getting what they deserve? What did I say last time? Did I say, what do you want? Oh, I said, what do you want from me? I said, let's go with who are you this time. But yeah, they could have eaten Josh's body. And they all turned into Wendigos? No, because that body is fake. Yeah. I'm trying to help you. And this game you're playing. You understand that it's not good for you. It's not good for anyone. And I can't say that you're showing much loyalty in the way you're playing. Oh, interesting. Loyalty was the word that I switched out. Very, so, so far it's very small dialogue changes. Just very... minimal changes. Do you intend to continue with this elaborate self-indulgence? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going with the answers that I don't recognize. So yes, I will continue this. Do you even believe that I am real? Oh yeah, Ashley's actress? Her name's Galadriel. Like, come on. That's pretty boss. All the actors and actresses for this game are very good looking. Mm, you don't exist, you're in my head. The heart of the problem, it all comes down to this. Can you really tell the difference anymore? I doubt it. <sighs> Mona, if you haven't seen Fargo the movie, you should watch it. Peter Stomer is in there. It's pretty. It's pretty great. What the hell's that? That could be a lot of things. None of them nice. Quit it. <laughs> Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. I've just been through enough spooking for one night. Okay, I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. No, have fun. Jessica! Oh my god! Oh my god! Shit! There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? So when did you get all dirty, Mike? That's not good. I kept That's him clean. Good, oh, it's all dirt, not blood. Yeah. Yeah, so when describing the Black Wolf last playthrough, I called him an asshole when he really wasn't. He's just more aggressive. He's dominant over the white one. And the white one looks so nice. So, yeah. A white wolf is our bro. I am. Not gonna let him die. I am sad for his brother though. Damn it. Alright. Kinda cute though. Let's get a closer look. Oh yeah, this is gonna be the long, long exploration part. I'll, I'll be as quick as I can. We should check out the door where they're at. Okay, I will. This place is just kind of big, you know? A lot of things to do, a lot of things to check out, but it's just so, like, open. <laughs> Okay, let's take a peek. I think was there a totem here, or was it? Yeah, it looks. Yeah, that's a totem. Grab it and take a peek. Or 
fortune totem. Um, I'm guessing that happened after Matt dies. Cause I don't recognize where he is right now at all. <laughs> oh dang. Alrighty. Nothing either directions. Yeah. Let's go back up, check that metal door. Hi XMYZ. Welcome to the stream. Let's see, let's see. I checked out this door last time. The door to the right of that is the main entrance. Awesome. Condemned Why wouldn't building? I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth? That wasn't a clue though. Is this a trap door? I think so, yeah. Oh. So it's a lot to do here. Um what is this? Oh, a whole nother area. Nice. Oh, this is something new for me. Cool. Let's see here. Oh, mm, maybe not that way. Maybe this way first. Anything in like the corners? No, nothing. Oh, what is that? What's that thing? It's like a radiator or a generator. Kinda sucks that he hopped all the way down. Oh, is there a way to get there? Looks like you'd have to drop down from the top. Right, through through this door over here we go. Maybe we can find a way up there. Two items. Ah. Oh. Whoa, what are we okay? Got it. Okay. Okay. What is this? A totem out here. Huh. I thought we couldn't find these indoors. Whoa. Who is- oh, that's Matt. That is Matt. Oh, that's not how M Matt died in my playthrough. Looks like Hannah smashed his face in. Gross. <laughs> Gross. My determination here is very admirable and kind of unrealistic, to be honest. Like, who would run after a presumed psycho killer with. Yeah. Has enough force to violently drag people out of the windows. Yeah. Yeah. But, yo, man, that's his girl. I don't know, sometimes you just do stuff and then regret it later. But, you know, the moment you regret it, you just gotta keep going anyway because you're too far out. Honestly, if I were them, I wouldn't know what to do because the moment, like, they think a bear is chasing them, but they're, like, in a cabin far off from the rest of the group. That's, that's when you're just, what the fuck do you do? Just cry. <laughs> My bad. My bad about <laughs> Matt's face getting torn off over and over. Oh, that's different.
Oh, there's another crow up there. Well, look at that. I must have misinterpreted that entire exchange because it really doesn't look that bad right now. Looks more like the white wolf just gave up on the bone. <laughs> okay, time to explore. This is gonna be a long one. A long stretch. The sanatorium. We spend a lot of time here. Not just once, but twice. Let's see, was there anything down this way? There's a note. Did I get this note before? That's weird. Oh. They just forced them to I did out. not get this note before. The minor rescue is due to be completed tomorrow, 5th of January. Number of surviving miners is unknown. Best possible care. Not allowed in. Okay, press visitors not allowed in the psychiatric ward. Okay. You'll need a nose peg. Those guys smell awful. Was this a thing? No, I think we just jumped up from here, right? Yeah. So here's something I still don't quite understand. Maybe it's because I have not enough clues. But why is it that in the safe that we find here, there's 30 clock in cards. But when we're in the mines as Emily, there are 36 marked out. Look at that. That's a little confusing. This time, give the bone to the white dog. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know we can give the bone to the white dog. I was trying to find a bone during this entire time. I, I think the bones are kept like in the um. Oh, someone really wanted to take a peek inside. In the room where the wolves are at now. Thirty clocking in mine cards, but in the mines it said thirty-six people out. I don't think there were any Wendigos back then. I wonder how we're doing on the notes or the clues. Mystery man. This is a stranger. And the twins. I think we're doing good on the twins at least. The others? Hmm. Don't really know if I care too much. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So. I had to cut off Mike's fingers last time, I feel really bad about that, so I'm just not going to walk towards the trap at all. Apparently, if I wasn't freaked out about, you know, a wolf heading towards our way, I could have just, you know, pushed the trap down and got my fingers out. I had no idea though. Huh. We have 30 workers, 12 survived, and you will find the notes of them like they smell, they're getting crazy, blah blah blah. The rest of the people died, the 12 survived, them. Yeah. Yeah. You'll see what I mean when we're in the mines, though. 
like they came somebody came down because the miners were trapped right somebody came down and took all the clocking in cards 30 people clocked in that day but 36 people got taken out of the mines or maybe the 36 was just the day before maybe I'm reading too much into this it's probably nothing If you do that, you break the machete. Oh, okay, then we'll just- okay. I don't want to break the machete. The machete is really important. The machete is what kept me alive when uh, I messed up with the Wendigo scene. I just won't go near the trap at all. It's that habitual curiosity, you know, when you're uh, playing games. Curiosity really does cut fingers. <laughs> yeah. Alright, this entire path is blocked, so we're gonna get the machete and then get on with our day. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that crow was there from before, so that's oh, not shit. you. Crows. How does he attach it? Like, what do you, what do you... Oh, you have a little belt loop. Or not belt loop, you have a little, like, carpenter loop. I think... Was this where the, the bloody chair was? Yeah. find out later. Let's see. Nothing in the corner. Nothing over on this side of the screen. Was there anything in this corner? No. I keep thinking that I'll find more clues. But the clues are obvious. Shouldn't worry about them too much. Nothing. There was something here, though. Yeah. Oh, th this is what could. Uh, was who? Was that a clue, though? Who the hell would it? Light from outside. Oh, I'm sorry. You missed everything since the saw and Josh wildfires. That sucks. Oh, that's the way to get to the wolves, I think. Okay, I'm gonna check out this room first. What was this? Reply immediately. I remember that. Gee, who wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise? Oh, you didn't miss much. It had, nothing really exciting has been happening. Like, I'm just like, working my way through the sanatorium as Mike right now as quick as I can because I don't- I personally really don't think this area is all that interesting. When we were first- when I was first playing through it, it was kind of spooky because I don't know- I didn't know what to expect, but... It's not the same. A lot of things aren't the same the second time around. The replay, like the replayability of this game, is pretty high, but you're only replaying for small, minor differences. Yeah, definitely not walking here. <laughs> Interesting though. That must be a Wendigo trap, right? Well, this place just gets better and better. Strange skull. Here's the entrance to the chapel. I think there are three doors to check.
it was born. Fatal lacerations of throat. Give it a handshake. <laughs> Maybe just a high five will do. Get ready for the gross one. Or was this the gross one? No, this wasn't the body. This was the the note about the lady, I think. Yeah, Sarah Smith. Now it's the gross one. Okay, when I chose rat during the first playthrough, I thought this game is so fascinating, like it's giving me rats because I chose rats, but I guess it's not that. The choices are getting less and less impactful the more I check out the different options. Yeah. Okay, since the chapel's where we need to go with this little key card, I'm gonna go back here and trigger this trap. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. Mike looks so pitiful when he, uh, He's hobbling around with his fingers at the pain, just clutching to his chest. Oh, I came from this way. Never mind. Right? Right? Is my short term memory failing? Yes, it is. <laughs> Sub hand. I'm really tempted, though. Get a move on. Let's see. Going through upstairs and get to the main area. So big. if the stranger knows that Mike is here or if he thinks we're a Wendigo. Cause he's just like nonchalantly like walking around all chill and shit. Like in the mines too. He's just like super chill. Yeah. Now that yeah like the, the magic is gone during the second playthrough, like, the hand is so obvious now, like, you know it's a trap, don't touch it, don't touch it, but like, first playthrough is always the best. The curiosity, you know. Okay, I came through the uh, mid building, and now we're heading over here, gonna give that bone to the white dog. I keep calling him dogs. Pretty sure they're wolves. <laughs> they don't look like any huskies I've ever seen. The closest thing they resemble to a dog is a Tamascan dog, which is half wolf any way.
Don't look like any husky I've ever seen. Hey, boy. No, I insist. That's a good boy. That's right. Easy. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. Hey, guy. You like that? Yeah. And everyone likes a little loving, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Cute, big, majestic animal. Alright, let's go give it that bone. Hey, oh. guy. You like that? Yeah. You know, likes a little loving, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First things first, though. What was in here? A jacket. So, what have we here? And the gun. Goody goody. 